Hey folks, Bridges here. Um, this video is going to be super short, super easy. Uh, the point of the video is to show you how to export your 3D model as an STL file. STL is stands for stereolithography, which is one of the first, the very first um, types of 3D printing that they ever did. You don't need to know that. What you do know, what you do need to know is how to export it as an STL file, which is a very versatile type of file that can be accepted by almost all 3D printing software. So to do this, um, first thing that you need to do is save your updated design. So I'm going to go to save and save that to wherever it needs to go. I'm going to put mine in the in my personal folder and I'm going to call this particular design an initial block. OK, once it's saved, what you want to do is go up here to the file menu and you want to go down to export right here, right under save as. OK, it gives it a V1, which means version one or maybe something, after, maybe some other version if you've worked on this several times. And we want to change the file type. We don't want it to be an F3D file anymore. That's a fusion file. Let's change the file type to, as we said, an STL. If we scroll down, there it is, an STL file. That is the part, that is the type of file that we want. Now do take note the location where this is going to. For me, it's saving it into my downloads folder, and that's just fine. That's fine with me. So I'll leave it there and go export. Now it takes some time to convert this um, blob, this 3D blob in space, into something that has <clears throat> um, dimensions. And it has a lot of information to it. So it's going to take it a few minutes, uh, if not more, to, to go through this status. What's cool is you can actually press the close button or the X, and um, it's going to keep continuing to download that and convert that and download it to your computer. Okay. Once it's complete, that's the file that you will be submitting to me so that I can turn around and put that file into the 3D printing software and create the, your, your model for you. However, in addition to that STL file, what I also would like for you to do is take a screenshot. So as a reminder, to do a screenshot, we're going to go down to the Windows button and we're going to type in the word SNP. And we get um, something called SNP and Sketch as a result. So when SNP and Sketch comes up, I'm going to click New. It grays out my screen and I'm going to click the drag a box around my model, but also I want to include my avatar up in the upper right, my little AB. Okay, it takes it in here, and we want to go ahead and hit the save button and save that to your computer. This does not save it to the downloads folder. This time it's saving it to the pictures folder. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a descriptive name, such as initial block, and say save. Now, so remember, our STL file will, will be saved to your downloads folder, and the picture, the screenshot, is saved to your pictures folder. Last thing that you need to do, go to the Google Classroom and attach both of those files. I would love it if you attached the screenshot first, please and thank you. That's easier for me to grade that way, and then I can go in and download your STL file and do what I need to do in order to put that on the 3D printer. Thank you for your time. And I'll see you guys on the next video.